Hey everyone, James here with Coffee and Comics, and if you have your coffee ready, just like I do, let's check out these comic books from these Walmart packs. Okay, so I went to Walmart, this was probably a month or so ago, and I was like, okay, let me just check and see if I can find some comic books here while I'm at Walmart. I rarely find them because either they're moved or all of them have been bought or who knows what. I rarely get them because they're rarely there. But this time, I stumbled across them and they did have a few left. And I bought three packs. So I got about 10 books, 10 comic books. They're like, you know, eight, nine, ten dollars a piece or whatever for each pack. The one thing I don't like about the Walmart packs is that they wrap them in the cellophane a little bit too tightly and it tends to start making the, the comics bowed and damages them. And I wish they would find another way to do that. Here's the comic books that I found. So first up is Star Wars Crimson Rain number one variant edition. Not a bad looking cover there. I've not read any of these Star Wars books. I don't know if any of them are good or bad or whatnot. Uh, there's just something about them that I don't know if I want to read them or not. I'm a big fan of Star Wars as far as movies and TV shows. I just don't know a lot about the comic books necessarily. So there's the first one. Next up, another Star Wars book, Han Solo and Chewbacca, number one. Kind of a cool looking cover there. Got the foreground and the background going on. And these two books, there's not much damage going on with these. I tried to pick the ones that did not have a lot of damage going on. Okay, so number three, we have Giant Size Black Cat Infinity Score, number one. It's a dark cover, but it's still kind of cool. I'm not a huge Black Cat fan, but if you are, let me know. If this is any good. Okay, so next up, DC Future State. This feels like a thicker book to me. And I don't know much about it, but it is issue number two. Future State Immortal Wonder Woman number two. It says it's a variant cover. Not a bad looking cover. I will say I don't really collect Wonder Woman books, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should. Let me know if I should. If there's a good Wonder Woman series, mini series, whatever it is, let me know if that's something I should look into. Next, Amazing Spider-Man, number 85, Beyond Chapter 11. So this is a neat looking cover. It's got, looks like the hand of Spider-Man coming up out of rocks. It looks like you got Doc Ock on there. So I'm not real sure what's going on. I've not read this series. Okay, so next, X-Men Legends, number nine. Got the old Wolvie there on the cover. Pretty nice. Next, we have Wonder Girl, Infinite Frontier from DC, number one. Got some nice color going on here with the background. And then the red from Wonder Girl really kind of pops. Let me know what you think about this. Is this a good series? Is Wonder Girl a good series? Next is Nubia, Coronation Special, number one. Trial of the Amazons Aftermath. I don't know anything about this series, this character, or anything. Next we have Checkmate. Looks like it's number three of a six-part series, limited series. Not sure what's going on in this series either. And lastly, which is the one that caught my eye because it was on the very front of one of the packs, is Venom Lethal Protector, number one, Walmart Variant Edition. And luckily, there was, there was no damage or really anything going on. Well, there might have been one little... I thought I seen something going on. Maybe like right here in this bottom corner. But other than that, pretty slick, sharp book. Especially with that dark cover. So very cool. I'm a big fan of Venom. Definitely a big fan of the Lethal Protectors. Especially the original set. Most of that was done by Sam De La Rosa. So very cool. That's what I picked up from the Walmart packs. From the, the one time I've actually found them. And in okay condition. Let me know what you think. Did I get a good deal? Anything in there noteworthy? Obviously, the Venom Lethal Protector, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know about the rest of them necessarily. Let me know in the comments below if you found some great things, great comics at Walmart in these packs. And let me know what you think about that Solophane wrapping. Not really a fan. I think they should go to something else. Thanks for watching the video. Please, if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Become a part of the community. We can have conversations all day long about comic books and related things. Until the next video, enjoy your comics, enjoy your coffee, and enjoy your day.